So, uh, very good evening to everyone. Um, my name is Mario Pan uh, from consultant in uh, uh, 3D printing, everything on the chain, and National Institute of Electronics and International Technology, Chad. So, before starting the today's session, uh, today's webinar, so first of all, I thanks to uh, participants. Uh, from almost uh, more than 50 plus uh, candidate, candidate are uh, registered, uh, but still I think have uh, um, 10 plus candidate are joined. Maybe uh, in between uh, session, maybe we'll join some more uh, candidate. So once again, I thanks to all the candidates for visiting this uh, design for auditing manufacturing webinar with Nile channel. Okay. So. Yes, as mentioned, my name is Mario Pan. Uh, so I am consultant for 3D printing in Nairit Channel. Okay. So today webinar we are discuss about on the uh, design for roti manufacturing. So uh, before we move on to the uh, design for roti manufacturing, so first I will explain the our Nairit. I think uh, uh, most of the candidate uh, both know very well about our Nairit, right? So uh, so first. Uh, Five minutes. Uh, I will discuss about on uh, Nilip. Uh, okay. So in Nilip, we are we are we are doing many activity. Okay. So that things we will discuss. So actually, this webinar uh, we will conduct. Uh, we are conducted as uh, in under the FS Prime uh, Future Skill Prime project. Okay. This is a monthly. We will we will schedule one webinar in different topic. Okay. So, in related to 3D printing technology. So, hope all of you know so additive manufacturing technology is an advanced manufacturing process in the uh, area of uh, production as well as manufacturing uh, for making prototype as well as the mini application. Right? So, that's what uh, FS Frame uh, uh, is identified uh, additive manufacturing is an emerging technology. So in that, uh, our Nilip Chennai is a uh, one of the core lead center uh, in the 3D printing platform area. So our lead center is a Nilip Chennai. Okay. So this webinar is conducted uh, under the Future Skill Prime Project. Okay. So okay. So we move on to the today's uh, webinar. So uh, about our Nilip Chennai. Uh, just a minute. So, uh, NIRIC means a National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology. Uh, it is a uh, working uh, under the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, it's Government of India. Uh, actually, NIRIC is engaged with the fourth uh, formal and non formal. Education in the area of IECT design the development of industry oriented quality education and training program in the state of, of the art area. It means we are conducting various uh, training programs as well as we are conducting various uh, 
courses like we are conducting uh, PG diploma courses as well as in the we are conducting various certificate course uh, like that we are doing various activity uh, if not only in 3D printing area so we are actually uh, we have the different stream is there uh, 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 like IoT and uh, RPA and the embedded system and also a cyber security and the information technology 3D printing uh, like there are uh, different uh, stream is there. Uh, so we are con we are doing various activity in the each stream. So you, you can go through the our knowledge channel website. So uh, you can get uh, uh, more information about on our uh, current uh, uh, courses and the training program related things. Okay. So next we coming to the our uh, uh, mechanical stream and related to 3D printing. So as of now uh, we are conducted uh, two certificate course. So one is in, uh, you can see here, the certificate course in computer aided design using CATIA V5. So this is a purely an online mode, uh, this course. Uh, actually this course, our uh, eligibility is, uh, uh, it is, it is if you have completed any uh, diploma or ITA or any graduation, or if you are doing a bachelor degree or master degree also, you are eligible. Even students as well as uh, uh, staff members, faculty members, technician. So if, if you want to, uh, uh, if you want to learn more about on CATIA design software, so you can register this course. So actually this course is uh, 80 hours duration. Uh, so in this uh, course is, uh, uh, its main advantage is, uh, you no need to install any software. It means you no need to in install CATIA software in your system. How it is, then how will you uh, uh, will use the software means actually you will provide, uh, uh, it is a online virtual software. It means you can able to, uh, uh, you need to install CATA software in your system. We will give virtual lab. Virtually means, so only after registration you are completed of the course, we will give on some login credential. Using that login credential, you can open uh, uh, open the portal uh, in that portal so uh, automatically you will set it CATIA software only you can use uh, you can uh, you can do the various access in the CATIA so if you want related to more information in the CATIA course uh, mm -hmm. this online certificate yeah. course in CATIA so mm -hmm. you can let me know or you can see in this portal here mm -hmm. you can see registration link it's reg.nilichennai.edu.in. -E so actually as of now, uh, uh, only one course is now started, registration started. Sorry. So computer aided design uh, using CATIA, if I course, uh, maybe the registration will start on next week onwards. But currently uh, you can see another one, uh, serial number nine, online certificate course on development of FDM which 3D printing. So this is the, uh, another one very good uh, online course. So it is also 80 hours uh, course. Uh, in this course, uh, you can learn how to develop your own FDM 3D printer. So normally we are uh, nowadays, uh, uh, most of the companies or most of the uh, persons or most of the institute are purchasing 3D printer. So with 50,000, with 1 lakhs or 2 lakhs or more than that also. Or if you are uh, buying the uh, FDM 3D printer. But uh, if you are developing your own FDM 3D printer, cost is very less as well as you can customize your 3D printer. That is a very important one. We are going for develop your own 3D printer. So in this course, uh, we, will, uh, we will explain the uh, uh, how to you develop your own FDM printer, including design and part selection and the firmware update and hardware support and software, everything will explain uh, in this course. So actually this uh, online certificate course on development of FDM printer, FDM based F 3D printer course is started as a it means course registration started. Uh, you can go through this link uh, dot in. So uh, I think is, uh, this course only have limited seat. Uh, uh, this is the last date of registration is today. Okay, today is the last date because this registration is already opened. I think 
टू वीक्स बिफोर ऑलरेडी ओपन दिस रजिस्ट्रेशन सो ऐ थिंक अस ऑफ नो अराउंड अराउंड ऐ थिंक थर्टी प्लस कैंडिडेट आर रजिस्टर्ड ओके सो इफ एनी बडी आर इंटरेस्टेड so you can register this uh, uh, fdm 3d printer course you can learn how to develop your own printer so if you want to more, if you want to more information about on this course so you can uh, go through this link you can see the uh, sorry you can go through this link reg.nilichennai.edu you can get uh, syllabus and uh, uh, everything in the sir actually uh, this course is totally uh, one month course sir uh, per day it is of uh, four hours so actually uh, i know uh, in this uh, webinar i think most of the candidates are attending uh, in uh, working professional so in the per day uh, is a four hours suppose if you are not able to attend that daily four hours continuously mean there is no issue sir actually each day recorded videos will saved in your uh, portal it means once your registration is completed we will give one uh, login id uh, for each candidate so each day you can login uh, you will give the portal also through that portal you can use login credential you can login so in that portal every day uh, session will be recorded suppose if you are missed any class or if you are missed one hour or two hour no issue all the videos are recorded in that same portal okay so in that portal you can whenever you are free after completion of the course also that portal will be open okay that is very good for your learning more about on 3d printer means so surely you can register that course so it is very interesting as well as very advanced course in the no, 3d printer so not only we are explaining the uh, fdm 3d printer so we will give uh, more information on fdm as well as we will give some other printer also like a dlp metal 3d printer also you will explain but in this course mainly we will focus on fdm printer so this is a very good course uh, if anybody looking for uh, attending this course or if you want to learn more about on fdm 3d printer or if you are develop if you are develop if you have any plan to develop your own printer or if you are doing any r and d in related to 3d printing means so this is the right course for to you so you can register and uh, another thing this course have only limited seat and i think it is a only 5050 uh, is a only limited maximum seat we are allowed so already i think uh, 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 31 or 32 is already registered i think so so you can register within a today or maybe you can take one more day tomorrow before tomorrow 5 o'clock you can register okay so if you want more information you can check this uh, link okay otherwise uh, if you have uh, during the registration if anybody have doubt so you can note it down this is my uh, Uh, mobile number and mail id so my mobile number is a 9003541404 and my mail id is a mariyappan at nilichennai.edu so if you are if you want more information about on this two course uh, both katya as well as in 3d printer course uh, you can let me know or you can uh, text in my whatsapp number okay so okay great we will move on to the next one so same like in different technology we have nilet chennai so like data data science and embedded system ism so each each department they are conducting different courses so maybe you can go through uh, uh, this our portal maybe you can get more information so i told no this is the our fdm uh, development of fdm based 3d printer course so uh, it will start on tomorrow but it may be start on monday only so due to the some students are requested so we are actually postponed uh, to start this course on monday coming monday so last date of registration is today but maybe we are extended one more day so tomorrow is the last day so if anybody are interested you can register this course on uh, tomorrow before 5 pm okay so there are many advantages is there i already mentioned now live instructor led lecture and online virtual lab and recorded lecture is available for after live lecture and the teaching mode is online okay 
and as well as we will give hands on experience also suppose uh, if any candidate uh, is there in chennai or if whenever you are coming in chennai also you can directly visit our uh, nilip chennai organization you can see our nilip uh, 3d printing facility okay even after completion of the course also maybe you can whenever you are coming here chennai so you can uh, uh, see our uh, uh, our lab uh, 3d printing facility okay as well as we are doing various research activity in the platform uh, in the 3d printing platform area okay so particularly i am working in the metal additive manufacturing process as well as uh, uh, polymer okay sorry so you can check uh, in the registration portal uh, you can register okay <coughs> sorry so this is another one course uh, so it is uh, under the future skill prime project so we are actually we are introduced another one a bridge course uh, it is a uh, 90 hours duration okay so this is a car it is a cost is around uh, 3390 3, 3, plus uh, 18 percent tax will be there so this is a uh, like a uh, uh, very good uh, 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 course for both CAD modeling as well as in 3d printing so actually in this course only we are explaining the 3d printing so we are not moving, uh, focusing on CAD modeling maybe CAD modeling is there but it's not on uh, in depth okay it means just maybe 5 to 10 percent only CAD modeling is there but in this course both you can learn 3d printing as well as in CAD modeling so uh, we are actually this course is a bridge mode bridge uh, online mode so if you want more information of this course so you can uh, check this link maybe this uh, link i will give uh, on each of your mail id i think i have all, all the candidate registration mail id is there so in that mail id i will uh, send the uh, both course this bridge course as well as this uh, this uh, development of 15 days 3d printer course uh, player as well as some prospectors i will send you you can go through it uh, you can register okay thank you uh, Ah, right this is the link yes right you can i think somebody i think is uh, send it in chat box anyway this one i will uh, i will send you in registration uh, this both the okay, uh, course registration link as well as some more details i will send you in uh, your mail in okay so as mentioned no uh, it is our night is working under the ministry of electronics and it so you can see this is the our uh, uh, organization structure okay so next our thrust area it is these all are the our night chennai thrust area one is an information security cloud computing and data science and embedded system and 3d printing so actually our night chennai started in uh, 2010 okay so actually night uh, all over india uh, around 42 uh, plus center is there in all over India. So Nailit Chennai is one of the uh, pole lead center in 3D printing. So we are actually, uh, we are conducting both online class as well as offline classes also. Uh, as well as we are conducting various uh, certificate exam uh, like uh, DLC examination, triple C examination and uh, kind of various activity exam also we are conducting, okay. So these are already some activity uh, apart from the training and the course we are doing this this also. So okay, this is a small introduction about on our nailit uh, as well as uh, uh, so our uh, course details. Okay, so fine. If any doubt about on nailit as well as in this course, any doubt maybe uh, you can uh, ask your question in chat box. Uh, maybe at the end of the session, I will answer. So, next we move on to the, our uh, main agenda for today webinar. Uh, introduction to Auditing Manufacturing. Before we move on to the DFMA, uh, first I think we will uh, discuss about on what is meant by 3D printing. So, then we will move on to the DFMA. I think hope uh, in this webinar, uh, I think more than 10 candidates, I think, attended. So I hope all of you are know about what is meant by 3D printing, right? 
So, uh, uh, 3D printing it is a uh, it is a uh, process of joining materials to make object from 3D CAD data model. Okay, it is happen is usually lay, layer by layer uh, as opposed to a subtractive manufacturing methodology. So, um, 3D printing technology it will uh, create a physical object from the 3D CAD data file in layer by layer. Okay, so that is the uh, main definition of 3D printing. So normally in 3D printing there are uh, different name is there like uh, some of the people uh, uh, may be called as a rapid prototyping, some of the people may be called as additive manufacturing technology, some of the people may be told stereolithography. Okay, and some of the people are told 3D printing. So there are different names is there for uh, uh, this technology. So, but actually 3D printing initially uh, been reduced for making prototype application purpose, right? So actually first technology, it is uh, uh, in 3D printing, it is like SLA, stereolithography, I think 1983, uh, stereolithography is, uh, it is, uh, Invented uh, in 3D system. Okay, so that is the first technology in 3D printing. SLA is a first 3D printing technology is developed. So after that, only SLS and FDM like that different technologies came. Okay, so initially uh, 3D printing technology it's uh, introduced for making only prototype prototype application, right? But nowadays it's not like not only for making prototype. It apart from that, nowadays the main technology came as well as uh, the application also will be increased. Application means it like nowadays the most of the 3D printer technology will can able to use end use application part also. It means suppose uh, example uh, if you are uh, see, see on engine, engine assembly, the engine assembly any impeller part is any anything is broken or any customized part anything is broken means Easily you can replace by using 3D printing technology. Maybe you can use metal additive manufacturing process or maybe you can use fiber based 3D printing technology, whatever it is. So easily you can replace some end use application part also. Okay. So that much level that 3D printing technology is, uh, it is uh, uh, reached. So that is a good thing. Uh, so nowadays the application also it would be higher like even nowadays the bio 3d printing came as well as for fiber 3d printing and, and mainly in the construction area concrete 3d printing came like that there are many uh, uh, application is actually extended in relative to 3d printing okay so the process is very simple uh, from the CAD model file okay so you can uh, uh, create physical object by using 3D printer. It is it happened in layer by layer process. Okay. So next, uh, uh, next I will uh, I will discuss about on additive manufacturing evolution. So actually. 1770s the mechanization started. So 1946 is the first computer is developed. So hope I think everyone know right. So 1952 is the first MC machine is developed. 1960 is the first commercial laser is developed. So uh, 1961 is the first commercial robot. First uh, uh, 1963 first interactive graphics system. It means CAD software is developed. 1980 is a first uh, uh, pile uh, pattern is missed, Dr. Kodama. So 1986, not uh, actually previously told, no, 98, not in 1983. 1986, uh, first uh, 3D printing technology is patterned in that technology names called as a SLA. SLA may know, right? Uh, it is a SLA, uh, it is a stereolithography process. So this is the first technology invented by 3D system. 
so after that uh, you can see many technology came slrs and uh, fdm uh, 2022 you can see some miniature kidney models created by using 3d printing and in 2005 you can see high depression printer like that there are different innovation came so up to 2012 after 2012 to 2022 the many printer came as mentioned earlier you know bio 3d printing concrete 3d printer fiber 3d printer like that and chocolate 3d printer like that many technology many 3d printer is came so that is a new innovation related to 3d printing nowadays so this is just uh, additive manufacturing evaluation so i will not more uh, discuss about on this one okay so hope all of you know what is mean by what is the main difference between uh, additive manufacturing as well as in the conventional manufacture okay so i will not this one also i will not more focus uh, because my today agenda is different anyway i will just give short introduction report on difference between additive manufacturing as well as in conventional manufacturing actually can additive manufacturing i already told now by using cad file you can convert that cad into some program file like g4 so that program file you can load into your machine it will create physical object in layer by layer process so that is a routine manufacturing process but we come into the conventional manufacturing process uh, here is not like that uh, so here it is initially also we need to create a, a program file that program file you can load into your cnc machine so in that machine it will uh, uh, it will uh, cut your material it means uh, maybe initially you can load your solid block in your uh, machine uh, okay so tool will act wherever your program uh, uh, creator no based on your program tool will move and uh, your cut your uh, solid block material so then based on your program you will, your part will create so actually in additive manufacturing process there is a no material removal it means here there is no uh, material wastage but in coming to the conventional manufacturing process it is a, like if you are going with the cnc uh, surely there is a some material wastage will be there compared to adopting manufacturing process so that is a major cost will involved right so if you are reducing material means automatically your final end product cost will be reduced as well as you can see the product lead time product lead time also will be reduced okay so comparatively uh, in the uh, additive manufacturing is a uh, very suitable uh, technology for making faster prototype uh, and faster part so what is the it, of course uh, it based on that quantity it will vary suppose if you are making one part of course uh, additive manufacturing is a best way. suppose if you want if you are making uh, th thousand numbers means of course uh, nowadays 3d printing technology nowadays is suitable for up to batch size production so uh, not mass production but nowadays the mini r d many innovative machines came to increase the production by using 3d printing technology so based on the quantity it will be very but if you if you are going for some 10 or less than 50 100 parts surely the additive manufacturing is a uh, uh, is a best size of course it will be also vary based on your uh, complexity uh, based on your geometry of the part okay so here the material wastage is you can see here the process so it is a small reduction about on uh, difference between the additive manufacturing and conventional so the conventional process it will remove the material uh, okay and additive manufacturing material additive manufacturing technology it will add the material it will create physical object in layer that is the thing so in conventional manufacturing there is a wastage will be there due to that wastage your uh, part cost will higher and also uh, your, uh, uh, your part manufacturing time also reduce yeah. but here uh, in 3d printing there is no material wastage okay because the part will made in layer by layer process only so that, that is the reason here there is no wastage and as well as wastage is reduced means automatically your product cost will be reduced and also lead time also will be reduced so these all are the some main difference between the additive manufacturing as well as conventional changes 
So hope all of you know, right? These are the some different classification of additive manufacturing technology. Totally around uh, uh, seven technology uh, are classified under the uh, ASTM. Okay, so you can see first one is a uh, uh, material extrusion, wax polymerization, sheet lamination, powder fit fusion, binder setting. Okay, and uh, material setting and uh, DET. So these are the seven technologies are uh, classified under the uh, EHT. So each technology have some sub classification is there. You can see in my slide. Uh, so this is just I will I will not more discuss about on each technology because already in I think uh, last month uh, I uh, uh, last month I, I think I discussed it. Uh, we are conducted on one webinar and related to. Of uh, this uh, classification of additive manufacturing technology, so that is the reason I will not uh, more dis more discuss about on this technology. So I think hope uh, uh, all the technology uh, know very well about. I think you uh, you know right. So that is the reason I will skip this slide. So then I will move on to the design for additive manufacturing. Just a minute. I will stop screen now, then I will. Just, just a minute, I will share my screen back. Okay. Hope my slide is visible, right? Yes, I think it's visible. Ah, okay. So next we will discuss about on our uh, main agenda on today webinar, design for duty manufacturing. So uh, this is the best example for uh, design for routine manufacturing. Before I move on to the uh, uh, introduction about on uh, DFMA, just I will uh, give an example in related to uh, design for IT manufacturing. Here it's, this is the one case study. Okay, so uh, you can see iteration number one, iteration number two and iteration number three. So first one is iteration number one. Uh, you can see this is a one uh, uh, triangle part is printed in uh, CFF technology, it is like FDM based technology. So first part is it is a printed in full solid mode. It means uh, inside there is no structure uh, and also uh, uh, there is no any material reduction is not there. Okay, so it is printed in as it is. So it means. Uh, there is no changes in the inside of your part, density of the part. So we are printed under percent density of the model. So in, the, in this case, iteration one, you can see the print time. It is an, it is an, it is, a, it is totally showing nine hour, nine hours. Okay, and you can see the material cost. It is showing twelve point six three dollar. Okay, so next we coming back to the iteration number two. Uh, this is the compare it is, it is a both are almost similar but you can see here in between we removed uh, some material okay but here structure will not change okay it means the same it will same only but only thing is inside only the material will be removed okay but uh, comparatively the iteration one and iteration two is uh, material uh, time material also is very less and the printing time also is very less. You can see here only the six hours this part is printed and the material cost is 6.12 dollars. But here problem no, 
uh, if you are bending this means it will not withstand more load it means it will not withstand more stress if you are applying any load in this uh, if you are applying a top direction uh, if you are applying any load means it will break because here only the thickness will be less right so if you are printing like this means the problem is this uh, this step it will break so that is the reason uh, you can jump into another one another iteration iteration number three you can see this part is a fully printed in just only two hours and the material cost is taken two dollar okay uh, here what kind of things will done here means you can see the compare you can compare uh, iteration number three instead of two and one okay what is the best things here done it means only we printed only the this four corner edges one two three four okay this four things only we one two three four only four edges only we are we printed in using 3d printing technology here uh, middle here inserted some uh, 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 some kind of steel pipe these are inserted so based on your load you can uh, uh, you can set the uh, things so these are the these are this is the best example for in design for today so, okay maybe maybe you can ask some question it means uh, 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 how we know this this one it will stand uh, 5 kg load or 10 kg load means uh, before your making part you should analyze your your 3d model part it means nowadays there are different uh, software is there for optimizing uh, your part before you are moving into 3d printing you can uh, optimize the part uh, like uh, like hyper mesh okay uh, and uh, then topology and uh, like ANSYS like there are many uh, uh, analysis tool is there before you are starting you, your 3D printing part, you can do analysis and also optimization also you can. So this is, I think this is the best example of a DFME technique. I hope all of you cleared, right? So you can compare iteration number one and iteration number three, how much difference will be there, okay? So uh, instead of this nine hours, within a two hours you can easily, you can make uh, one part okay this nine hours easily you can make four around uh, roughly five parts easily you can man you can easily make this is the one of the way you can able to uh, 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 increase your production by using 3d printing technology by using dfma technique through using uh, dfma technique uh, you can increase your production okay but uh, uh, in this technology, uh, in this uh, DFMA technique, uh, it is uh, not only in the polymer related, not only in the matter. So all tech, all the technology, even if you are using fiber technology or concrete or if you are using this uh, polymer matter, all the technology, this DFMA is very uh, useful. And mainly metal 3D printing technology is more used in this DFMA. What is the reason now? Actually, uh, completely polymer metal uh, material cost as well as process cost will higher. If any wastage is happen or any part failures happen, so total uh, loss. So even the material cost is also more than 10, 15,000. But if you're coming into the polymer, the material cost will be, example, you can take FDM, uh, the, the, the overall uh, Plum and weight is, it is almost uh, 1 kg mean, maybe cost will 1500 or 1000 rupees only. But if you are going with metal 3D printing, mean, it is not like that. It will go more than lakhs per kg material or more than 1000. It, it may be very, very on material to material. Maybe if you are using SS or maybe if you are using titanium or uh, two steel mean, based on the material, the cost also will be very. So that is the reason. Uh, in the DFMA technique, uh, mostly used metal 3D printing technology. Of course, polymer technology, some of the polymer technology also, they are uh, used for DFMA technique. Okay. So, next we move on to the uh, another one. Uh, so, this is the one. Uh, 
uh, another one case study you can see here uh, gv aviation uh, is a used design for anti manufacturing technology just a minute so we are used the design for adaptive manufacturing technology uh, in the uh, actually on a helicopter engine model so in this helicopter engine before applying dfm technique uh, that as engine assembly totally have 900 parts after apply dfm technique instead of 900 uh, so only 16 parts only is there okay so only 16 parts is enough but in that time it, not, it will not affect any efficiency of the engine you can see 900 part is there in the 16 part is there right so this is the best example for uh, DF, DFMA technique so you, maybe if you want uh, more information related to this case study you can go through this link you can get more information uh, previously i told no uh, on uh, ng g so this is the part this is a 3d printer part instead of the 900 parts is converted into only 16 parts so this is the 3d printer model images so this is the exploded view of that uh, 16 parts printer no that is the model so next we see the what is mean by uh, uh, DFMA. So it's a design for a duty manufacturing is the process of adjusting your design to make it cheaper, faster and more effective to manufacture. And executing proper design for a duty manufacturing technique can increase yield and also save time. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, actually, if you are executing DFM technique means you can able to increase your uh, yield as well as you can able to save your time as well as you can reduce your part cost. Okay. So, this is already some more information related to DFM. So, normally uh, you can see here on statement. Uh, in different uh, form of from different from tra traditional manufacturing this additive uh, design process empowers engineers to create more intricate shapes and the production parts while reducing weight and material consumption normally uh, in metal 3d printing process as well as in polymer 3d printing process uh, some of the complexity parts can easily make uh, by using 3D, 3D printing process, 3D printing technology instead of uh, uh, traditional manufacturing. In traditional manufacturing process, uh, some of the uh, complicated uh, parts you cannot able to make. Okay, some criteria is there. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, in traditional manufacturing process, some of the problem uh, actually like uh, some internal parts okay some internal any kind of flow uh, uh, is there means you cannot able to create uh, uh, easily in conventional manufacturing process so instead of that if you're using 3d printing easily you can make complexity parts also okay and also here uh, here, in fact, almost 60% of 3D printing stakeholders and companies worldwide said UT manufacturing has already changed the way they think and operate according to Jamil's recent survey. Okay, so based on this survey, is uh, uh, so the 3D printing technology it is uh, uh, reaching all the industry. Actually, I am uh, uh, started a career uh, in 3D printing field in uh, 2000. 13 okay around almost uh, nine plus years i am working in this research and as well as various role in 3d printing only right so initially uh, the 3d printing it uh, mostly used for making prototype it means automobile applications or aerospace application only but nowadays you can see 3d printing is reached all the industry you can go medical, if you go construction area, if you go food industry, 
if you go sports industry or if you go jewelry manufacturing if you go dental man dental company uh, automobile aerospace all the industries the 3d printing is you are using but anyway technology will be different based on the application the technology will be different but you can see all the uh, places 3D printing is playing a major role. Okay, 3D printing means not only for mechanical related. This 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 process is common to all. So all the industries nowadays have started for uh, manufacturing various parts. Okay, so in that DFM technique is playing major role for mainly reducing your cost of the part as well as reducing and saving your timing of the part. Okay, this is the some main categories in the field of design for resin manufacturing. So maybe we we'll skip some of the things here. Uh, okay, so here there are uh, different structures will be there. So these are the way you can able to reduce your part weight for applying different lattice structure. You can easily reduce your weight. Okay. So these are the drivers of quality manufacturing. So directly I will go into the, so actually we don't have time now, I will go into design for a little manufacturing method. Yes. Before I explain this method, uh, what is the need of uh, DFM technique? Why we need to uh, go Design for additive manufacturing. Uh, I think the first slide, I think this question, I think first slide, I think clearly visible, clearly answered. Means, just a minute, I will, I will open first slide. This is the first slide, right? Uh, in this slide, I think you are clearly understand why we need to use a DFMA, right? So, if you are not applying DFMA, you can print nine hours time, it will take nine hours. The material cost also is at twelve dollars, twelve point six three dollars. But if you are applied to your uh, DFM technique in your apartment, just two dollar of your cost, your time also just two hours. So it meaning uh, your time also will be reduced. If your time reduced to mean automatically your uh, production also will be increased, right? And your saved material means what your material cost also will be reduced. If your reduced material cost means overall part cost also will be reduced. That is good, right? So that that is the uh, reason most we need DFM design for early manufacturing in the 3D printing plant. So clear, right? So this is the need for me for using DFMA. So in the DFMA technique, there are uh, different method, methods are there. Mm -hmm. So totally around seven important method is there. Uh, first one is a topology optimization and another one is an inclusion of undercut and another one is a design for multi-scale structure. It means a latex or cellular structure and another one is a multi-material design and another one is a part consolidation and mass customization and uh, final one is uh, other manufacturing constraining future. So these are the seven uh, important design for routine manufacturing method. Okay. So we will discuss one by one. But anyway, uh, we, we will give small short introduction about on each method because we don't have uh, time. Only we are scheduled on this webinar only one hour. So actually this uh, topic it will take around uh, uh, one day session will be is there, uh, but we don't have time. No? Just I will I will give small short introduction. We will maybe later in some other training program or some other thing we will uh, discuss more on this. So in this uh, optimization topology optimization, it is a uh, one type of structural optimization technique which can optimize material layer within a given design space. Uh, it means in this structural optimization, uh, 
it is it is it is not only for optimizing the size and shape it is also optimized uh, can both shape and topology of the part okay some of the optimization technique only it will uh, optimize the or analyze the size some of the optimization technique only analyze the shape but in topology optimization means it can update uh, both shape and topology of the part that is a very important thing with the uh, this optimization the additive manufacturing process can be applied to fabricate topology optimization result uh, however it should be noticed some manufacturing concerns such as a minimal features size also need to be considered during the topology optimization process right you can see here uh, some more information is there and related to topology optimization so tp to topology optimization is none other than proven generative design method that is focused on optimizing material distribution using sound numerical methods okay so another one is a uh, this topology optimization uh, it is a proven optimization the most of the technologies are used this optimization technique for reducing weight as well as time of the your manufacturing time so you can see this is the best example of uh, uh, topology optimization method so this is the uh, one automobile part it is a uh, name is uh, i think is a brake pedal i think so right so in this part you can see this image this one you can see uh, it is a first model it is developed in full solid now next one it is applied somewhere structure the second one you can see it is also some different structures will be there so in actually it had uh, an initial rate of 2 kg and would be optimized to only 327 g uh, again is a 83.4 percent for mechanical strength meeting the specification it means the first part is uh, it is printed in full solid in that time total weight of the uh, part is around 2 kg after applying the topology optimization okay just only 327 g okay it means 83.4 percentage for mechanical strength meeting the specification okay if you reduce 2 kg instead of 937 you know you can see 83.4 percentage the mechanical property mechanical strength will meet it okay so these all are the very good uh, example in topology optimization so these are the some more up this is this is explaining how to do the optimization so maybe you can see uh, this is the process actually there are many softwares are used for uh, topology this is another one example uh, you can see this is the another uh, one example in the boot packet it is the uh, bmw part so okay so maybe these are other some more example related to so this is the one musical uh, instrument instead of your uh, manufacturing full solid maybe you can use this kind of structure easily you can save your material as well as easily you can reduce your product cost so you can see uh, it is a footwear industry they are used for shoes for this kind of structure mean easily you can reduce your car reduce your weight of your model yes these are the softwares are used uh, nowadays are used for doing optim topology optimization so one of the famous software is altair inspire and another one software is ansys mechanical and uh, parameters uh, software and end top of this to the memory yeah.
हेलो एक्चुअली सॉरी एक्चुअली मैं फाइनेंस आई थिंक डिसकनेक्टेड नो आई थिंक गुड पॉइंट राइट सो सो दिस आर द सम मोर सॉफ्टवेयर सब यूज फॉर डूइंग टोपोलॉजी ऑप्टिमाइजेशन सो अनदर ओनली से पैरामीटर कॉपी कैड एंड टोपन एंड टोपोलॉजी सॉफ्टवेयर दिस आर द सम डिफरेंट सॉफ्टवेयर्स आर यूज्ड इन द टोपोलॉजी ऑप्टिमाइजेशन सो नेक्स्ट वन इज इंक्लूजन ऑफ अंडर कैड so inclusion of undercut means the uh, this is the main important thing for uh, if you are how your model has some under uh, undercut is there so it very difficult to do casting particularly if you are going for vacuum casting means you go part ka uh, uh, undercut very uh, difficult it means cannot if some of the part cannot able to do the uh, casting in vacuum casting process so in that time okay if you are using this uh, dfm technique you can remove or uh, you can uh, modify the model okay so a best example you can see this is the image first one image you can see first part is have undercut issues there and second part you can see this uh, top undercut part is removed okay so like this if you are, you can modify the design then you can print it so next one is uh, design for multi scale structure so multi scale structure it is there are different type of structures will be used normally honeycomb structure and uh, hexagonal structure and uh, triangular structure lattice structure these are the structures are widely used structure for most of the part so you can see here this is the best example for lattice structure multi scale structure so instead of we are printing the full solid you can do this kind of structure you can reduce your part there are different structure as mentioned no there are different structure will be there this is on a lattice structure so you can see here this is like a, uh, it is a triangle type structure okay so here uh, i think this slide is not clearly visible okay. uh, you can see this are the some medical parts they are applied uh, some uh, the printed uh, some uh, metal parts by using uh, some lattice structure model this is another one application uh, this is also uh, one uh, example for uh, lattice structure that is uh, actually this is uh, uh, created uh, this model by using cat software okay you can see some more example uh, some mechanical models as well as some uh, some uh, kind of uh, show models you can see applied some lattice structure instead of you are printing this uh, yeah. solid you can apply this structure easily you can reduce your weight of that so i'm i think so i'm moving past uh, so so next one is a multi material design so actually in 3d printing there is some options will be there uh, instead of you are printing single part it means a single material can print multi material also in this multi material uh, if you are printing multi material means you need to modify the design based on your what materials are used so uh, in based on that you can modify your design so this is the another one uh, methods have uh, in dfm so you can see some of the example here so next one is a part consolidation Uh, this is very good. Uh, already I told no uh, uh, part consolidation. It means a redesigning process. So redesigning means uh, previously I showed one example like a uh, one GE com GE company instead of the 900 parts converted into 19 parts. No, that is a parts consolidation. Here also you can see some uh, some more example. So this is the 3D printed rocket injector. Okay. So in this rocket inject or uh, injector, initially part have uh, before applying DFM technique, this uh, rocket injector have two hundred parts. Okay, after that it reduced into just two parts. You can see two hundred part where just two parts. It is where. Okay, so instead of the two hundred parts, it reduced only two parts. without affect any performance and efficiency of your part so that is the magic of you are using dfm technique right so this is one example uh, uh, 
uh, I told no, this is also another one uh, fuel nozzle. Uh, instead of the 20 parts, I converted into only one. So next one is a mass customization. Uh, uh, in this mass customization, there are different design, different uh, models are proposed to help designers to or, uh, to obtain the customized product in easy way. So this is also only another one important method. Uh, and also some more uh, cons uh, uh, consideration will be there. It means why you need to uh, consider DFM. So these are the things we need to consider for using the DFM. So create parts with the great complexity, minimal material base, and the simplified assembly, material innovation, uh, and the cost of the customers. These all are the uh, things. So I think these things I already I discussed. Hope I think you clear in this. Yes. So if you have any queries in this, you can ask. Actually, I planned some more thing, but uh, actually I don't have time. Uh, I think now is a five o'clock. Uh, actually, I planned many things. Uh, maybe we will discuss about on that. Uh, some more design for uh, duty manufacturing, uh, design guidelines in the FDM technology and SLA technology. But if you're discussing that one, it will take uh, uh, more time. It means it required a remain two, three hours. It is a big topic. Uh, anyway, these all are the some basic uh, information about on DFMA. Uh, I think hope in this webinar, uh, uh, most of the participants, uh, I think is, uh clear the boat on this uh uh this uh DFM technique as well as introduction about on 3d printing so i have received many questions in chat box i will give answer in one by one so actually uh Actually, Rajesh asked that the course duration is yes, that is a, actually an 80 hours course for both uh, uh, 3D printer as well as CATIA. Uh, it is a uh, one month per day, four hours. If in these four hours you are not able to attend, me, there is no issue. Each day, record the video will save after whenever you are free. Uh, you can see it that video it, it will open on 24 and 7. Okay, even after completion of the course, also you can able to see that. Uh, Record video. Even you can, that video also you can able to download in that portal. Maybe future, maybe you can save it for your uh, reference. So that many facility is there for in our course. So you can check. Uh, I think the registration. Uh, just a minute. Maybe I will give that registration link. Uh, if anybody uh, interested, you can go. Uh, can register. I send in chat box. I can go through it. Reg dot nine dot Okay. Uh, next question. Next one. Uh, I think this one, Rajesh. Uh, yes, I think it is right. Uh, you are mentioned here equipment on link, no? That is for registering bridge course. Bridge course in 3D printing and CAD modeling. That is right, I think so. Uh, and another one is it is a slow production process, right? Uh, then how it can be useful for mass production? How this technology will rise in future? Uh, sir, actually in 3D printing technology, uh, uh, initially, it is uh, uh, as mentioned earlier, earlier no? uh, 3D printing technology is initially made only for making prototype. The prototype means just single piece production. Once the that uh, prototype is success, then we will move on to the mass production, maybe using some casting process or some other process. Using that only you can go for manufacturing, we mean mass production. But uh, now the slowly this 3D printing technology is, it is uh, moving to mass production. Okay, uh, I will show you on uh, another one machine name. 
actually one uh, machine name uh, like a uh, figure four standalone it is a dlp uh, technology it is introduced by 3d system so in that machine uh, it is a very faster uh, okay uh, in related to all over 3d uh, dlp based technology that is a very faster technology and also the technology more than 20 plus materials can able to print more than 20 also it is possible uh, in that machine it is a, i think is a, uh, launched on 2020 i think so 20 or 21 i think so started uh, uh, it is a launched by 3d system that machine is a best example for uh, batch production but nowadays many r d is going on uh, related to uh, increasing the production it means uh, uh, we are uh, 3d printing is moving on to mass production but as of now it is it is not uh, mass mass production stage but maybe in future we will expect uh, uh, for uh, so maybe 3d printing technology will be used for mass production so actually this webinar recorded video uh, Okay, I will try to give, uh, okay, I will try to give that webinar link. If anybody want, maybe you can text me, uh, this uh, text your mail ID, uh, I will send the uh, record video in your mail ID. Um, already I given my number, right? So, uh, maybe I will give, chat box, I will give my mobile number, you can check, you can, uh, uh, and uh, we can send your uh, mail ID, I will send you record everybody. The presentation, uh, so no, uh, we are not able to give the presentation because these all uh, files uh, are prepared by our NILIT uh, team. So, so this, uh, maybe we will send record video, we will not able to share the uh, presentation file. Whether hands-on session will be conducted, uh, sir? Actually, uh, that course, no. We are actually we uh, some of the hours are uh, we are planned hands-on session also. Actually, uh, before Corona, uh, in this course has started uh, only offline mode. Uh, okay, but uh, in that offline mode, no. Uh, here we will give a class. Per day three or two hours and the remaining two hours of the hands on experience in 3D printer only. But after Corona, that course will convert it into online. That is the reason uh, uh, we are not uh, given hands on. But if you are interested, you can come here. We will, we will give hands on experience on that uh, 3D printer course. Okay. You, uh, also, if you are in Chennai, no issue, you can uh, visit our office. Uh, uh, at any time, which means in our working time, uh, you can come, you can visit our facility. I will ready to explain our 3D printing technology and also uh, in our uh, our place, we have developed our own 3D printer. It means uh, we are uh, own design and own developed on 200 mm, 200 mm FD 3D printer. So using that only, we are conducting that uh, development of FD printer. So only we have purchased some uh, electrical item parts. Uh, remaining parts, everything will our own design and developed. Okay, then we are assembled. The pulley is uh, it is assembled. Now is working good. Okay, so using that printer only we are conducting that uh, 3D printer course, right? So if anybody are uh, want to learn or if you want to uh, develop your own FDM printer. Or if you want to customize your printer, so surely uh, this is the right time you can uh, attend the course. Uh, okay, so the course you can learn many things from starting basic to up to advanced level. Okay, including design and development, programming, software, hardware, everything or A to Z, you can get uh, more information in the course. Okay, so. So actually, uh, uh, there is no need to book any appointment. Uh, just you can text me this number. Actually, tomorrow maybe I am not available. Next Monday I am available. 
uh, before you are coming now one day before you can check you can text me or you can directly call uh, this is my number 9003541404 so whenever you are coming now that time uh, one day before you can call me and check so mostly i am available in uh, office only from 9 to 5 30 okay so any doubt i think uh, now time is uh, 5 10 any other doubt uh, uh, otherwise uh, uh, you can uh, uh, go to that candidate uh, register if any candidate are interested you can register that course i i mentioned no reg.nlchennai.udu.in you can go through that link you can register so already i think 32 or 33 candidates are registered only our remaining 10 few seats are there uh, you can register so uh, uh, so don't uh, wait uh, up to tomorrow today itself you can complete uh, your registration okay uh, if you need maybe if you any doubt you can text me in my whatsapp number is given uh, okay so thank you actually i planned many things in this webinar but due to the short time i cannot uh, uh, able to uh, explain more things about on DL from it. But anyway, I give, uh, I hope, I think I given some small uh, definition about on DL from him. I think, hope I, uh, I think many of the students, sir, many of the candidates, I think, uh, learned some few things. Means I am also very happy. So we will meet again uh, uh, in that uh, course. Uh, if you are registered, means surely that is a good one. So you can check, uh, you can register. Uh, hope uh, this this is webinar is very interesting. Uh, we will meet again on some other training program. Thank you, thank you to all for uh, attending this uh, design for additive manufacturing webinar with Nailit Chennai. Uh, thank you.